here on WBAL TV. Screen here, right here in this box, right here. Here to tell you about this thing I came up with that you can give me money to do things. Memberships to this channel, three cost efficient options. Just 99 cents a month, you can join the Max Thrasher, the Bounty Hunter tier. You will get custom badges so that when you pop up in the chat, everybody knows that you love me. I will say your name at the beginning of every stream. You plus me equals us. It's $4.99 a month. You can join the erotic Eric Fontaine tier. Not only do you get the badges, not only do you get the shout outs. Also, once a month, I will do a special members only stream. What are we going to watch? It'll probably be some really weird wrestling or wrestling kind of thing. And for just $9.99 a month, $9.99, didn't somebody else say You can mark off bingo on your Armstrong bingo card. You get the badges, you get the shout outs, you get the members only stream. And once a year, you get to pick what we watch on Off The Grid. But don't go too nuts, like no porn. Don't ask me to watch WrestleMania 3 because that'll give me a copyright strike. And too long, maybe like two hours. Maybe send me a link to it so I don't have to download it. I don't, I don't like doing work. Three very affordable tiers. One fee per month. You get to give me money, which is the important part. I'm happy. I give you perks. It's a real transactional relationship. America, am I right? From the swamps of Louisiana, the Cajun Predator! of the hairy freak or the fat slob is practically gone. Let the party begin. I've got snacks. Would help if I unmuted the mic. Hey, look at us. We did it again. Another seven days round the sun. Let me point this up just a little bit. Eh, that's fine. Ah, this is WW Deep Cuts Live. My name's Tom Green. My online handle is right there, including Blue Sky. I know there are a lot of folks watching on Twitter right now. Get the hell off of there. I, I, the more you come over, the faster I can delete that account. But nonetheless, welcome everybody to Subby to Subby Sub Deep Cuts Live. I forgot the name of the show. What am I doing? Where every Tuesday, 9 p.m., we gather to watch the forgotten quote unquote television classics from World Championship Wrestling in the 1990s. Hello to everyone in the erotic Eric Fontaine fan club, aka the chat. Uh, so many of you here got bubble wrap. Look at that. Look at that. I got bubble wrap. Ah. So anyway, I'd like to welcome everybody here. Um, as well, shout out to Peter Crawford in therapy for upping your subs. I'm gonna put those in my syringe. I'm gonna stick those in my butt cheek. I'm gonna get me real big, real big. Yeah, I'm happy to have everybody here. 52 consecutive streams. Congrats to Optimum Vision. That's admirable. Perfect attendance. Your certificate's on the way in the mail. Also, to answer B. Clark for Dark, um, fortunately, none of the YouTube stuff transfers over to Twitch. None of the badges or emojis. I apologize. Uh, if it did, I would do it in a second. Um, you know, I'll, I'll work on something. I don't know. So I'm glad to have you all here. Speaking of those memberships, those YouTube memberships, I played the video up front. If you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead, become a member. It starts at just 99 cents a month. You got three different tiers. Uh, I went through them earlier. I'm not going to put you through it again, but I'd like to thank, say thank you to all of the members of my YouTube channel. Brian Dermody, Kamish Spiffy, Toroid11, David Syracuse, everybody's friend Jonathan Mayer, Scott Keith, 
Hidden Track, Hit, uh, Izzy McClure, Jason Honeycutt, The Fart Master Supreme, Ken Terminated DQ, JT, Jacob Kenny, Brenticus Maximus, uh, Champagne and JD, Adam Suzanne, Yankee Hawk 0004, uh, Peyton Andrews, Adam Simon, Brent Clark, Anthony Marola, Bam Dog, uh, let's see, Sean Fox, Jesse, Jamie, dot, 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 ellipses, Impwa, and joining, I think yesterday, Wild Woobs. Wild Woobs. Thank you all so much. Um, we'll probably be doing the next members only stream on Sunday, December the 1st. Not quite wrestling too. I'll have more details in the coming weeks. Thank you all. Uh, also, speaking of cool things that I do, check me out on today's Cultaholic podcast. Uh, Tom Campbell was nice enough to have me on. Uh, we chatted about WW Deep Cuts. We chatted about my son Noli, uh, about uh, weird childhood wrestling stories, chatted some behind the scenes scoopy doobies from all the stuff i do online i've got a real weird story about a, a scoop i got a few months ago that i could not use uh so yeah it was a blast so all available on all podcast apps i think they're throwing the video up on the patreon if they've not done so already and if you watch it on there no i'm not crazy i was just looking to the web, the wrong webcam I thought I was going through this one and it turns out Zoom was going through the internal webcam on my laptop and therefore I'm like looking up in the sky like the entire thing and I look like a maniac. But uh, the audio version free for all available on all podcast apps. Enjoy that after you enjoy this. Speaking of enjoying things, look at this. It's my favorite possession and it's all thanks to our own Brenticus Maximus Check him out, brenttech.etsy.com. Use the code not that Tom Green for 10% off your own WW sign or, you know, various other 3D printed art. Got some real cool retro gaming stuff up there. Again, brenttech.etsy.com. Dot com. Dot com. That's me. Me and Brent. That's how we stand. When we uh, hang out, Brent gets shirtless. I put on my tank top. We grit our teeth. It's a blast. Oh, yes. And happy birthday to my son, Eric turned 13 yesterday. Happy birthday, Eric. He's in bed. He's been in bed for about an hour, but you know, what's not in bed, the discord. And I believe this link actually works this week. I think I finally set it up to where it will not expire. Join the Discord. A lot of the folks in the chat currently are in the Discord. Tinyurl.com slash Discord for Tom Green. Get in there. Chat it up. We're chatting it up a whole bunch. Uh, sharing some real cool thoughts with some real cool folks. So join the Discord. Tinyurl.com slash Discord for Tom Green. But with all that out of the way, six minutes of blah, blah, blah. Let's get to the reason why y'all are here. Let's watch NWA Pro Chicago from November of 1990. Let's go. I don't know why I'm doing this thing with the mic so much. Let me turn this up a little bit. It's very low. On the danger zone, Paulie dangerously verbally attacked Lex Luger and was promptly warned by Taylor. No problem, Yankee Hawk. Thank YouTube for uh, matching it with the actual artist's stuff. I did not know that it was not public domain music until YouTube started uh, revenue sharing. NWO Pro Chicago. It's one of the more fun, fun WCW shows. Yeah, it's, it's regional. So all sorts of wacky stuff gets through. Nintendo feel the power. Again, we can promote R-rated movies. 
9 a.m. NWA Pro Chicago is on the air. Saturday morning up against the cartoons. We Ever cannot say we're not Jack. Right here on WGN Channel 9, the NWA has been red hot. Tony Schiavone Lee. Tony Schiavone Lee. Makes him sound like an adjective. Tony Schiavone fits nicely in that nine. I'm going to find out exactly how hot the NWA really is here on WGN. Hi, I'm Tony Schiavone. I know who you are. Oh, well. I, wanted to I was talk to you for just a second certain exactly the joke was going to be the that she had no idea who any of these people are were. Off the well, that, that's great. That's great. Okay. Here's the call right now. Okay, well, you go ahead and get your call, and I'll talk about what's going on this week in the NWA, as always. The Who's calling a the TV station at 9 a.m. on a Saturday morning? Come and on. We're going to be back a little bit later on to talk to some of the people. Here at WGN about how things are going with the NWA and how is that things Lois? are. Lois, no, not no, Let's not go Lois. This Lois week. is back NWA home. Lois ain't Pro leaving Chicago. Georgia. She got sick of the North. All right, on the program this week, we'll see a tag team action, the Nasty Boys. Also, we'll have our Nasty Halloween Boys just Havoc days Havoc away from the leaving the company. The World Champion Sting will be wrestling this week. Ooh, and wrestling in all caps. Arn Anderson, the champion, will defend against Young Allen Iron Eagle. Let's go oh, a headline match anywhere in the country. Ladies and gentlemen, making their way to the ring area. First from the da 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 Ricky Morton. And his partner from Atlanta, Georgia, 214 pounds. These guys were like in their 20s, I think, at this point. Maybe early 30s. But they seem to be about 60 years old each. Like, they just felt so old. Jim Corbett and Pat Rose. Hey, guys, camera. Over here. Over here. See, Tommy Rich is my favorite grandma. Robert Gibson uh, was injured. I think he blew out his knee around this time. Oh, yeah. Pat Rose is a great wrestler. Hell of a wrestler. Never got his due. Like, the thing about Ricky Morton is... If he would have just changed up the look a little bit, would have aged a little better. I like that drop down. Yeah, same with me, Brian. Uh, I talked about it with Tom Campbell. I got into wrestling August of May on my third birthday. And yes, Teo Cham, Robert, Robert Gibson's parents are... Uh, down with uh, a knee injury. I, I forget the exact phrasing, but yes, not, both of his parents have uh, hearing disabilities. That's why he used to use ASL for all of his promos. Which is really cool. And so far, the team of he and Wildfire Tommy Rich have been very, very good. <laughs> Goes to Burt Furnace. Tommy Rich seems like he would be the kind of guy that knitted you a nice sweater and sent you a $12 check. Yes. Jim Corbett, in. much bigger guy than Rich. Jim Morton. Corbett. Has gone after the big guys before. Watch out oh, now. it's the Freebirds. Michael Hayes is here. Uh. Jimmy Jam Garvin and little Richard Martin. Why was Jimmy Garvin so far behind them? Come right up to ringside. Like Michael's up there instantly. Little Richard Marley's right behind him. And then Jimmy Garvin's about a minute after them. Look at that flea market leather jacket. Holy crap. And it has a tail. Well, Tommy and Ricky were about 34 years old. God, they seem so much older. Yeah, let's just beat the shit out of the guys in the opener. Finally, Rich on the outside, and the Freebirds leave. Like, and I don't think it's, it's been the drugs. Like, it's just the fact that they felt like relics of, a, of an elder time. Like, wrestling had changed so much. Culture had changed. Like, Ricky Morton coming out with the bandanas and the mullet. In the in the twangy music, the dun, 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 dun. what is that pin? Oh my! Um, it just made them seem so old. Also, how is Tommy Rich sweating so much? Oh God! Norman's corner. Uh, hopefully, Norman's corner is 250 feet away from Eddie's school in the city. 
tell you something. There's my truck driver wallet. You can have that, buddy. This uh, you, here, here's here's my wallet, here. child. Let me tell you something, Juice. Halloween's over. Wait, now. what? Oh, oh, Juice. 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 I like having about two big turkeys down this big belly of mine. <laughs> Thought he was going to get real weird. Um, I'll tell you what. We're getting ready. That's those of you who don't know the juicer, played by Art Bar, who uh, lived the year before in Portland, had been arrested for having for uh, statutory raping a teenager. And now, Chucky's back. Oh, yes, Green Boy. That was it. Was Roddy? It's Roddy Piper's idea. They even did. In, I think, 89, they did a segment on Portland TV where, like, Roddy put a curtain up. And then he put Art Bar behind the curtain, and he put the makeup on him, and he put all the dust on him, and he turned him into the juicer. Don't let those little red risers mess with you. That's a good point. No, you stick it. Or, uh, Mitch Pump. Yes. Future WCW star, Chucky. Yeah, I cannot believe... All the stuff WCW was not allowed to do. So They're promoting freaking Child's like Play too. Blue. blue is better. Sell some blue oh, hi Brian, it's a shampoo commercial. And, and doctors recommend it more than head and different. shoulders, and Tegrin. Blue is better. Selson Blue. Discover Selson how you blue. can have a secured MasterCard or Visa in as little as five days. Even if you've been turned down before for any reason. If you're not approved, it's we'll pay you one a different kind of stress, Westagon. We know what's coming, <laughs> and it's Or we'll pay you $100. Don't let past credit problems ruin your dreams of a new home, a new car, new 1990 car, Oxy heads back when teenage girls dressed like they were in Working Girl. Aren't straight, in Brian. Five days. It works or we pay you. Call now. You could not tell if a woman was 16 or 50. He's back. Oh, this feels like a spoof. And he's badder than ever. State your purpose. I'm the meter man. You're not safe from either side. You need Allegedly, us. yes, Matt Bourne got arrested for statutory rape, which they did not cover in his Dark Side of the Ring, which felt a little weird. Rated R. Coming soon to a theater near you. Fans, don't forget in just a few moments right here on NWA Pro Chicago. Don't forget. We're take a look at Halloween Havoc. Some of the yeah, don't forget we're going to do a recap in a couple right minutes. So if you wanted to tune out, One now's the chance. Of course, U.S. title, the Steiners defending the U.S. tag belts against the Nasty Boys. One of the best WCW matches of the 90s. Steiners and Nasty Boys. It happened right in the middle of the ring at the UIC Pavilion for the contract signing for Halloween Havoc. Let's take a look at the footage. Yeah, they did a lot of for they did a lot of Chicago specific storyline stuff for Halloween Havoc. It was the contract signings, they did a lot of custom promo stuff for the Chicago market, a lot more than normal. And yeah, that was the deal. The Nasties were promised the WWF tag titles to leave, and they were the champs by uh, before WrestleMania. Now, those jackets look so cheap. Oh, table bump. I actually kind of like that better than a lot of table bumps because the table kind of collapses and does like a hydraulic thing. Power slammed on that table, which broke in the middle of the ring. And I think you'll agree when you see our highlights from Halloween Havoc a little bit. <laughs> Those are just garbage bags. Yes. Those are cat liners. The issue still like remains. litter boxes. And a burning issue it is because a no burning issue. That sounds like something Brian Knobs has dealt with often in his life. Right to Scott and Rick Steiner. That's the, the sort of boys, Certainly a threat. <laughs> Brian. Brian Knobs. Hoaxter. Terry. Where are you? At 619 pounds, combined away from New York City. Pretty much, I would, I would not think of it that way, but Nasty's pretty much got the Motor City Machine Gun push in the WWF. I liked the Nasties. Hello, JJ, 1976, with the BH in the middle. Thank you so much for the follow. All right, Reno Riggins and Rick Hard Rock. <laughs> Okay, they're calling him Rick Hardrock. 
like like Hard Rock is his last name, but his name was also Rock Hard Rick. So it just looked it looked like his name was Rick Hard or Rick Hard Rock. Rock Hard Rick or Rick Hard Rock had way too good of a name to be an enhancement guy. Him and Mike Awesome teamed up a couple times and. That's like the coolest team. Like, how do you put them in the, the program and not have them win? And I think you fans will agree. Rick Hard Rock teaming with Steve Alt Country. Or Reno Riggins. Of all the matches, of all the 12 matches we had, none had as much intensity as... Shout out to my friend Ben Gordon. Reno Riggins is his guy. Oh, shit. You know, Matt Foster. Knows old Ben. Many people feel that to finally settle this issue between these two teams, my uh, my sister used to like when she would walk into the room when I was watching wrestling and the nasties would be on. She would always ask me why their bra straps were showing. Brian Nobbs, who's I mean, it kind of does look like they're wearing little strappy bras. Sends him in. Oh, Matt, I said Ben Foster, not not Matt Ryan. I did watch the infamous Nasty Boys Smackdown Dark match. Uh, God, that thing's amazing. More so when you know the story, that the Nasties called up one of the agents. And uh, we're like, hey, we're in real good shape. Can we get a tryout? You guys are in town. And they show up, and Brian Nobbs is in Brian Nobbs shape. And Jerry Sags, to his credit, looked really good. Like he, was, he was in good shape. Brian Nobbs looked like he did in the ball picture. And then they just come, and they start joking with all their friends that got comps in the front row. And they just beat the shit out of Drew McIntyre. The fact is that... The team with the best teamwork on that given night is going to win the match between the Steiners and the Nasty Boys. They didn't clarify the shape was round. Double team splash attack. I can't. Com like, I, I can't make fun of Brian. Nob steps right on top of Hard Rock. Like it just it, br it blows my mind. The guy named Hard Rock Rick or Rick Hard Rock isn't the one winning the match. God, that was a. Sh he always had the shittiest awesome elbow. They didn't try any shit with Dave Taylor. They just didn't do anything. With him. Like Dave Taylor, they made sure he was out of the ring for almost the whole match. And then at the end, Taylor does this like weird, like weird thing in the, on the apron to let everybody know that he was pissed off about the match. He doesn't even try. Like, he's like non-ironically doing the Orange Cassidy. Does. Hey, it's GMC looking like a driver's ed teacher. Get ready, UIC Pavilion in Chicago. On Friday, November 30th, you will see a double cage event. In one cage match, Ric Flair and Arn Anderson... I mean, that's what you have to come back with after you had a pay-per-view in town last month. You have to do a double cage main event. This gentleman, the junk yard dog. This little man. <laughs> is he eating? Well, well, well. Did they interrupt him having dinner? Like between Gary calling him the junkyard dog, and then the promo starting with junkyard dog just like looking off to the side and chewing. This is great. Oh, I'm sure this match is fucking terrible. If it even happened. Ric Flair and Arn Anderson cannot wait to get Doom inside the giant steel cage. Standing by, I have a feeling all this ad copy was written in caps lock. Gentlemen, it goes like this. This is called the cage, and we're the heart. It totally looks and like there's like they got guys on both ends holding up the fence because it's kind of shaken. To be the best this force has uh, yeah, the Sears now, promo studio backdrop. WCW was great with those. Think about it, Simmons. This stuff hurts. Art still has a little bit of hair at this point. Combed over. 
Remember in that second Arn's naked match, other than his Rolex? Boys meet the United States Tag Team Champion Steiner Brothers. Word from the Steiners later in the hour. He says as if it's breaking news that the Steiners will have a thought to let them. Hey, who wants to sell you about the cage match? I'll tell you about the cage match and sell you a long-term life insurance. Yes. <laughs> hey, bro, man. Yeah, it's very casual. Very casual, Gary Michaels. Patty. Very Yankee Hawk. Doom. Teddy Long, parentheses. Imagine going to Sears and getting tickets to a WCW show. I forget who said it. Somebody said on uh, Blue Sky the other day that uh, for most of us, Sears was just the front door to the mall. I loved Michael Jackson Moonwalker. I could not get past like the third level, but I loved it. Yeah, they made some weird house show booking choices, especially with like JYD. Like he was not good enough to push on TV, but boy, was he beating everybody at the house show. That's awesome, Mitch Pump. I got the one WW house show I got to go to in 97. We got our tickets at Kroger. Oh. Is tough, and the training is tough. Like, this is not a, so a good promo. Like, like I don't want to jump out of a plane. Special. Matthew Broder? Go in the army. The, the army. Assume I have parents. Cards hurts more than your buying power. It's almost impossible to cash a check, rent a car, or make travel reservations. If you're among the millions of Americans who've been denied credit, even if you're divorced or bankrupt, First National Bank has yeah, a money back, no if you're risk, divorced. secured visa, or MasterCard offer for you. You slackers. I my credit, but I got my card fast. The bank approves the majority within days. Call now. There's no ventriloquist risk. dummy? One call does it all. If not approved, we'll refund the cost of the call. I like Kroger the better than mine. The one 988 dial Call now. 995 per call. Meyer just feels like bootleg target to me. As low as 56.88 for brand new dependable transportation. Sonata as low as 10,225. New Sonata from 10 grand. And Look at the hood of that thing. We have over 100 on display. I believe he did say you need credit to make a dinner reservation. If anyone can, oh Connor can. Oh, we have never seen a deal we could not do. If anybody can, go Connor can. Cartoon starts swigging whiskey. Turbo Graphic 16 is about Oh, Turbo Graphic 16 commercial. Into the Stone Age. You need credit to get a Turbo Graphic 16 system. You are carnivorous. You've got to bonk 28 states. You know that's what all video game fans want in a game, is to be carnivorous. And you've only got one weapon. Bonk's adventure. Like, that looks way more fun than 90% of Nintendo or Sega games. Hello, everyone. This is Gordon <laughs> Hello, everyone. And the this is me, Gordon Soli, reporting all, from a pumpkin patch. No Standing by the hayride? Great wrestling action. The Steiners did reach. It is more fun. I'm glad to see your enthusiasm, Derek. I'll have to find it like an emulator Doom or something. Still the hey, the park of fame. Yes, I did not comb my hair before we went live. Tremendous odds to retain Hat his is on. world championship. One change, however. Stan I imagine Gordon Soley was really now bad at getting drunk and lost in corn mazes. We are live in Chicago, Illinois. We're just going to replay the whole pay-per-view? Like, one of the highlights of the pay-per-view was the first 10 seconds where they welcomed you to the pay-per-view. Gordon Soley looked like a scarecrow. And then disappeared and then reappeared. Let's take a look. I'm psyched up. A lot of people out here. World title. I love that Sting, unlike the second biggest pay-per-view of the year, wore the jacket that he always would wear when he didn't have a jacket that matched his gear. Like the backup jacket. Oh, Oli didn't use the voice modulator for this one, I forgot. Stay for this moment. 
Why is WCW employing teenage girls on the ring crew? Why hasn't anybody investigated that? <laughs> they never showed Gordon, Gordon slowly from the waist down because it was considered too sexually exciting for Missy Hyatt. Why did... Okay. I understand that the, the pyro was like a distraction thing for the magic trick. Also, he just ran behind the curtain. That's like all he did. Duplicity was the name of the game when it came Duplicity. to the U.S. Championship. Although the Steiners successfully that a Michael defended their Keaton titles movie? against the Nasty Boys, after the match, Scott Steiner was being interviewed yeah, He just, by like, Tony kidnapped Savani. a 15-year-old girl. That, that was the angle. Uh, the the Black Scorpion you know, thing went through Starcade. I told you, you got a fucking spaceship at Starcade come down in. Yeah, I love that WCW set, too. People give it shit because it's crooked, but I think it's it makes it look cool. It started, I think, uh, like around August. Ugh. I never got why they had to wear costumes. Like, why did Jerry Sags have to wear a beard? Why didn't they just jump him? The Nasty Boy is annihilating Scott They hit him with Styrofoam. Steiners! 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 You've been walking around real bad and bold! You think you're scared? Yeah, it was multiplicity. I was trying to make a ha ha. God, he is so disgusting. So sweaty and gross. On a scale of 1 to 10, Halloween Havoc would certainly have to rate a 15. A tremendous <laughs> That's not how numbers work, Gordon. Obviously also, you work for the boys. company. And you Stan don't Hansen get to rate US the show. Do you have a newsletter, Gordon? It is still Sting as Gordon Sully's newsletter would be like a page of results and then him just like drunkenly slapping leather letters together on his typewriter about like forgotten loves. Brian the other day brought up Lamar from Revenge of the Nerds on uh, Off the Grid. Mike Samples, the opponent. Uh, that's straight up the song they played at the end of Revenge of the Nerds. Mike Samples, uh, future Big Japan deathmatch superstar. I'm not kidding. Future USWA superstar. <laughs> At a scale of one star to five turnbuckles, that was definitely a beat. Nick Patrick, the referee, he's going to fuck something up here. That's right, yes, Mike Samples was the GWF executive in Memphis. I forgot about that. That lethal headbutt of his. Right back to the corner. Three. Nick Patrick could not give two shits about that lockup. He's like a yard away. One. Two. One. I don't want to do anything. Just separate on your own. But he's still in trouble. As Sambo goes in the back, we have some comments from the junkyard dog. Let's listen in. The headbutt is lethal because you see back in the day in professional wrestling, black people had hard heads. And the world's tapping himself steam. Which is a weird ass stereotype. So come on down. We were all just cool with. And he gets to win. He was the movie star Mike Samples in USWA. That's how I learned about him in PWI. We'll be back, fans. What an anticlimactic match. Like I think everybody involved seems surprised that it ended. Hey, it's home alone. Tis the season. Now, his parents are in a panic. Somebody pick up. Pick up! Two burglars are in trouble. Like, I, I, every Christmas season, you see people, like, oh, they should make a new one with Macaulay Culkin as his dad. And, like, cell phones make this movie obsolete. Starts Friday, November 16th at theaters everywhere. Just FaceTime the kid. Sixteen bit sports 
section. Every game system is advertising on WSW TV. Does Buster Douglas boxing? Genesis does what Nintendo does. But Nintendo not. Yeah, so far, if, uh, according to the advertisers, WCW fans are a bunch of divorced people with shitty credit who only play video games. Yeah, Kicks fucking sucked. I agree, Mitch Pump. Kicks was horrible. It was like slightly different flavored cardboard. Finally, a 900 game that's fun to play and easy Wait, to win. Wait, what? I just called 1-900-9-TV-GAME and played one of their music games. Pl play I a game? By simply identifying four easy songs. So this is what no the people that were drunk during the day would do too, like for the sports, sex lines. Rock right. and general. I think I'll try TV trivia. Imagine how lonely you would have to be to call this phone game. number and first minute, play games. Kids, ask your parents first. I mean, what sort of baseball and mini gamer you disavow your son's homosexuality? Yeah, somebody should call that now. My sale to find out how you can buy seized property at bargain basement prices. People have bought houses for one hundred dollars. Cars and government auctions. Call the government auction hotline at one nine hundred five three five sale now and get your share of the bargain. Don't miss the next big sale in your area. Call one nine hundred five three five sale now. Oh, you have to call a hotline. It's ten dollars per call. You. I'm going to take the time on this danger zone right here on WGN, right here in the Windy City this morning, to settle a personal issue. You see, if the host of this show, Tony Schiavone, says, I want to interview you. jacket Rick, looks like one of those says, couches. Hey, no problem. If Jim Ross says, hey, I want to interview Lex Luger, the total package says, hey, no problem. If Ted Koppel wanted to have Lex Luger on Nightline, he would say, hey. No problem, but what happened? Yeah, Paul, when the Paul's hair left, left him very early in life. That would have been a great ad, Paulie calling that game hotline. Hey, Cecil Nix, hello. Glad to have you here. That's right, Leparky, you were at that convention that Paul was at this week. The big event. Nastiest, dirtiest pool halls of Detroit, and I found that guy that likes to take heads off and spit down people's necks and here's what he said for you i love people who spit in other people's mouths it's nice to see you can read the sign hey i'm looking for a guy to solve the problem for me i heard i can find him here you know you know that paul used those sunglasses just like new york to convince people he was blind and like gets shit for free i'm not surprised paul had the biggest line he doesn't really do conventions I'm surprised he did that one. Name, baby. I just want a time and a place. Come yeah, and I'm very jealous. Alex dog. Wright was there. He flew him in from Germany. Looks amazing. Looks like he could go today. And I'm very mad nobody got him to wrestle while he was over here. There we go. The Motor City Madman. I can see this is going to be an expensive day right here and everything. And just how expensive? Well, uh, just how expensive? What we, see, what we need is this thing called an attitude adjustment because Luger's been on my just I saw that Mitch Pump. I saw that on Blue Sky today. Sean Ross Sapp released that list of people that were allowed to get haircuts in WWE. Paul Heyman and Ricochet were on it. Conversation over. I love how it was like the big reveal that you couldn't show this guy's face. And then they show it and we're supposed to be impressed that it's just some chubby guy. Some schlub. See, Luger, the Motor City Madman, told me personally that he thrives when he walks into a Yes, it was a deep cut. That's right, Instance 73. I'm not talking about beer because he don't drink. And I'm not talking about liquor because he ain't no alcoholic. What he thrives on, my man, is the tears of all... I'm sorry, that man doesn't drink? That guy doesn't drink? The Motor City Madman gets his hands on you. That guy we just saw... Ladies and gentlemen, the He's walking around in a bar 
and a leather jacket and no shirt doesn't drink. Uh, no, Motor City Madman was a uh, was a Paul Heyman guy. He was uh, the first guy Paul managed after he properly got in the business after the Bam Bam Bigelow stuff. Yes, Joe Gomez, the Tampa Pipeline himself. And here comes Arn Anderson with the best entrance music in all of wrestling. Oh, there's Arn with his sweet old man glasses that are kind of tinted at the top. All of her grandpas had those. All of Gomez's conditioning went into his hair. I love it. No, you stick it. All-time great title, but all-time great wrestler, all-time great entrance song. The negotiations are going on Aren't growing it out a little long in the back. Lightened it up, well. too. A little Maybe more blonde than be. normal. An old Arn. old double A. That thing's beautiful. I always love when Arn would do that. Like, as a heel. Which I, he's, they're not really heels here. Well, we'll they're kind of baby faces. But still, Arn would do that as a heel, too. He would shake hands. Sometimes. So you'd be like, oh, this guy, this guy's a good one. This guy's a good challenger. Hey, signal. Look at the little Unexpectedly, uh, to answer your question, bro, Havan, they did not get their per any of those uh, stations' permission. They just put them on. Hell yes, Signal. Yeah, Bobby Eaton was really good about that, too. He would always uh, shake the enhancement guy's hands before Midnight Express matches. Arn Anderson, oh, holy shit, he, uh, Cecil did the research. Arn Anderson here is the same age as NXT superstar Ethan Page is right now. Wow. Now back to the near side ropes. Back when they let people smoke indoors. I kind I, I can kind of see TK Bomber. I can kind of see Ultimate Warrior, like a like like a like a teenager dressing up as Ultimate Warrior for Halloween. I love how Tony couldn't even like pretend that it wasn't a shitty drop kick. He drop kicks Arn Anderson in the rip cage. Oh wow, Cecil's mouth was off. Page is like two years older right now than Arn Anderson was here. There were two <laughs> Iron Eagles, Alan Iron Eagle and Louis Gossett Jr. Yes. Defending his world television belt this week right here on Channel 9. Randy Anderson doing a little jog to get in place, unlike Nick Patrick, who could not be bothered. Here we go, monologue time. Throw up the ones for the bloodline. Oh, yes. That's right, Arn. You cut your promo in the middle of that match. You deserve it. Okay, I guess that's his three. Uh, his More three wrestlers moves. need to do that. Experience, knowledge, viciousness. I'm sad that that shit kind of oh, went away when WCW right died. Right Arn is 32 years old. I don't look great, but I'm 37. I here. look like a genuine child next to this man. <laughs> the the go show the a little bit now too. Michael Hayes off of the side. But Iron Eagle fighting back. Brock Anderson, I think he's an MLW now. They're doing like a fake horseman thing. Like him and CW and some blonde guy. Here we go. Spine Buster. That's the stuff. That's it. That is it. Still the chat. The winner of the match 
Anderson. I love how every time Arn Anderson's on one of these shows, we all throw out how old we are to compare. Like it's just our instinct. All I know about MOW recently is they couldn't keep their production crew because they wouldn't pay them. And so they couldn't live stream their show on Saturday. They had to like do tape delay. That's all I know about MLW right now. <laughs> I am as old as Arn looks. What a man. People, I don't want to take up a lot of your time because I know you're busy. Oh, hey, it's Dutch. Busy man. Let me take just take a few minutes to introduce myself to you once again. My name is Dirty Dutch Pantel, and uh, I didn't get the name of being a nice guy. I don't and want to make fun of him too much. He's going through some rough times. I got, the, I got the name naturally. And you know why I'm so successful is, see, I don't let guys' reputation say anything to me. They think old as Dutch. Stuff, He's hey, got to be late. They might be little pussycats with the Dirty Dutchman. So, you hey, can't be that I old. You haven't been around hard to find. I'll that be there long. 41. Okay, I thought he was younger. Gonna give him a little bit of credit. The wrestling wrap up. The WW magazine that you could not get in stores. It's done. The time to act is now. Bring the action of World Championship Wrestling right to your door by subscribing to the wrestling wrap up. This yeah, thing looks like a baby. A most also, I'm not getting the whole Dutch Dave Meltzer mess. Oh, oh, whole the thing. <sighs> I'm just glad so many people in wrestling were nice enough to, to donate to Dutch. Or MasterCard, or send your check or money order to the wrestling I hope, wrap -up. I hope he gets doing better. My personal feelings about his thumbnails hey, aside. Listen, if you want to be styling in the latest in Halloween wear, <laughs> here's how to work. What? Pay us to order your Halloween what is Halloween wear? Money order for $15 like a costume, Lex? To WCW and I want to be styling in my latest Halloween wear. Go to a Halloween wear fashion show. Um, I've seen bootlegs of that shirt. Buy any original classic model contour chair and I... On toward share. This man appears to be dead in heaven. TV, microwave oven, or VCR. But don't buy a contour You can tell it's a color TV these. because they Get changed because all the letters. The different colors. Chair you ever relaxed in. Contour chairs help to relieve low back pain. There's no way those people are getting out of those chairs. In your legs, edema, and swelling of the legs. Call toll free. And get full details on our fabulous. Only offer. at participating I distributors. I the color TV. I took the VCR. <laughs> I took the VCR. He Hello. says waving around like his pornography. And certificate mailed to me free. Certainly, sir. There absolutely See, were black and white TVs Call for sale. Call for your free catalog and certificate um, right away. Uh, my Call mom bought me one in like 92. That's 1-800-858-4600. Toll free. Call 1-800-858-4600. Getting a couture chair with a VCR. He says without a TV. I just put the tape in and I eject it for hours. I don't need a TV. Why are we doing this again? Well, okay. We could just stay. Color TV, VCR, microwave, three pieces of technology, aren't like letter never used. Strength when you need it. Secret. Strong enough for a man, but pH balanced for a woman. Ooh. Lady deodorant. You okay now? Much better. He looks at her. Hey, you use deodorant. Would you like to Okay, fans, back with the NWA Pro Chicago this morning on WGN. We're going to take a look at a situation which is developed into the, one of the most exclusive ones in the NWA. We're talking about the situation between Doom and the horseman, Nature Boy, Ric Flair, and Arn Anderson. It's a situation which began in the dressing room, a verbal disagreement. It exploded into the and ring she with started all the four in the, men going at <laughs> More, more feuds should start right with just verbal disagreements. Nothing was settled. They fought all the way back to the dressing room. Let's take a look at this exclusive footage. And Hacksaw They filmed, like, I, I would love to see this entire house show. I know WWE has it. Look at that old ass NWA ring apron. 
Like they use that shit at Starcade 83. Still pulling, pulling it at house show seven years later. A rematch for the world tag team title against Nature Boy Ric Flair and Arn Anderson. In addition, we do understand that Theodore Arlong is very <laughs> upset well. about the competition. Imagine a video NWA package holding the U.S. heavyweight title he match started with an argument about skills versus m &Ms. And we do understand quite possibly even this week that he may stage some sort of a boycott. Right now, though, let's go to the ring and see what transpires. I, uh... Not to give away too much, I, uh, have been asked my opinion about things for the Vols. I don't do too much because they don't pay me, but I've asked, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely been consulted about the vault. Yeah, back in the day, yes, Cecil, referees used to enforce rules. Now they're just annoyed. Oh, here we go. Tommy Angel, Tommy Angel, will you be mine? still the world tag team champ. And as we said, Theodore Arlong has said he will not... Tommy Angel, another guy who uh, is not aware that his hair is going. Love how Ron was like, fuck your lockup. See, the reason why they upload stuff that's like, why would you put that up? A lot of it is just simple SEO. Like, they, they, they have to upload a thousand John Cena matches. To make I'm gonna show the world that you know Simmons, all the shit they unearth worth it. Are just as great in single competition as they are in tag competition. So Rick Flair, Arn Anderson, Best Spinebuster, Arn Anderson, or Ron Simmons is Jake Hawk. I'm going Arn. There's more pizzazz. Arn's just Arn, Ron's just fuck you. Of the stars of World Championship. Peak Ron Simmons versus Peacock who wins in a shoot fight, says Optimum Vision. Haku. Very violent, very quick. David Young had a great spine buster as well. He still brings it. Great spine buster. Used to get into it in some really cool ways too. Not yet, the Theodore Arlong. Exactly, much bump. Yeah. The WWE Vault Channel. Ha oh shit! Ron totally forgot where he was in the ring. Oh. Uh, but yeah, they have to upload. Like Steve Austin versus The Undertaker from SummerSlam 98 to make it worth their while to post like an entire Omni house show. Anthony Henry is David Young's uh, son-in-law. Anthony Henry uh, married David Young's daughter. They had a match at Black Label Pro uh, two years ago. Uh, being David Young and Anthony Hill. Not ready for a pin yet. David Young is Beef's father. Yes. All right, Stephen J. Neptune, man. This week in sports, November 3rd, 1990, the Boston Celtics beat the New York Knicks 106 to 103. Uh, the 76ers beat the Nets 112 to 110 in overtime. The New Jersey Devils beat the Edmonton Oilers 5 to 2. The, Pit the Pittsburgh Penguins beat the New York Rangers 3 to 1. The Washington Capitals skated their way to a victory over the New York Islanders 5 to 2. And the number one song in America was Ice Ice Baby by Vanilla Ice. Now for the run. Ooh. I will say I love that Enhancement guys reacted to the Ron Simmons spine buster way better because Ron gave him that second, like where he would hold him up to hard camp so they would they can they would make the funny face before he slammed him down. He, he has so many cameras in his face right now. He does not know which one. Holy shit, this is the most 1990 TV segment ever. This specific multicolor static effect, it lived and it died in the year 1990. Like every TV show used it. And then like January 1st, 91 came along and 
it's like every editing system crashed and they never got it back oh Bob Brian Austin Green cousin Brian this Super Mario guy come on Somebody loves somebody. Everybody loves somebody. Blah blah. If you need to send money fast, hello Tim. Come if to you need to send money fast, blah blah blah. Or to send money by phone, call one eight hundred call cash. After this, the guys went to go play with Dad's gun in his office. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Western Union. Cannot get over that line. They could not have like written a line for him. Yeah, this is when you would mail a check to a major company and hope that they got it. But the mailman didn't just wrap it. The talking. Like the way they put the commercials back to back, it's like Lex got really mad when Lance Russell was reading that copy, ripped the shirt off, got real sweaty. Now he wants to talk about literacy. That's more than 50% off the cover price. The wrestling wrap up is not available in stores, so subscribe now. We don't like so. We do now. We, we have free e transfers from bank to bank now through Zelle. But no, back then, no, we didn't. Love that one guy hiding behind the curtain, but like doing a shitty job. Uh, WW, it did not officially become 100% WCW until January 90. Like, they were trying to implement WCW as a name slowly throughout 1990, but the full switch wasn't until January 91. Look at all that hair in the front row. Bow, 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 bow. Sting wearing a way nicer jacket for this TV taping than for the pay-per-view in Chicago. Holy shit, Mike, Mike Drago? Of all the last names, that guy calling himself Drago? Come on, come on. Sting in his Natalia gear. Third member of the, the Hart County. I'm sick of to hear him about Sting, the world champion, the man. No, Sting, I'm the man. I'm Sid Vicious, and I am the man that rules the world, and you're Sid Vicious, and now. Barry Windham is over here asleep next to me, and if I raise my voice, he's gonna wake up. Well, apparently the man that rules the world is the singer. Yeah, friggin' Mike Drago. Yeah, the name's really Drago cool, and then he's just like a voided up uncle. Holy shit, he's bad. This guy's horrible. And you put him in the ring with the world champion. Yeah, this guy has no idea what he's doing. Like he, has, he doesn't even know how to stand there for the tin punch. He's like grabbing at every part of Sting's body. A lot of power with that hip toss out of the corner. Like I don't think he's untrained. I just think he's now back to a neutral corner once again. Horrible. Calling for the break. Like, I think Sting realized I can't do anything with this guy. Let's go home. That's all she wrote, guys. Now, Sting totally had to tell that guy, hey, you bump now? Oh, God. He he was, no, he was resisting to cross his legs. His legs were just so stiff. That's it right there. He was selling his ass.
like of all of the weird body parts I've seen people sell out of a scorpion deathlock, he sold his butthole. How? This is a great sting look. I just, I wish he would have matched the paint to the tights. Yeah, he bumped fine. He took the one Beal pretty good. Just, he had no idea what to do when he wasn't doing moves. Yeah, Florida got to wrestle like Mike Jackson in squash matches. Sting got that guy. The world headquarters of the NWA in Atlanta, Georgia. The world headquarters. Once again, Chicago, AKA Illinois. this green the screen in Gary and Michael Capetta's office. The date, Friday, November the 30th. Double cage match. Remember, in one cage match, you'll see the see, nasty it, boys. You can't say double cage match because it sounds like there's going to be two cages. Appearing at the UIC Pavilion. <laughs> Coco, I'm sorry. He sold his butthole to the Stinger glory the hole. one and only... Terry Got to pay Taylor. that troll toll. Yes, yes, yes. Terry Taylor is happy as he's ever been. An ear to ear grin because he's in NWA where all the great wrestlers are. The Joe oh, Gardner, Terry Blair, Arn Anderson. I could go on and on, but I don't have time. I'm here to tell all, all the wrestlers that I'm going to be losing to soon. Yes, Paul W. Taylor. Me. And I know I'm going to need it to go through the guys like I just mentioned. The competition is really tough here. But I know with all you people behind With his me, robe that he would me, give to me, half the TNA roster later. It's straight to the top. Yeah, Bobby Roode. Scott DeMore wore that the when he wrestled. The couple matches in TNA. And the Steiner brothers. And that is the giant steel cage. It'll happen. The giant the steel cage. Now, no longer double. It's just a giant. A lot of people standing outside. And so anything they want at the cage. Sticks. Stones. Nobody's got the guts to get inside the cage. With the dog and act that no, because he might misgender me. Inside, show me. You know, nasty boys, there's a match, and then there's a cage match. There's a match, and then there's a cage match. With us? I don't think so. And there's this match I got out of the kitchen. Remember, wrestling fans, the UIC Pavilion, Friday, November 29th. Yeah, that's literally it's one thought. At all it was advertised correctly. We'll get a theater. thought from the Steiner brothers. Yes, Rick Steiner was a school, is, I think he still is a school board member in Georgia. Yes. Friday, November 30th, 8 o'clock, a break night. Seven exciting matches in the Judas Moondog. Yeah, there's no way that's even like part of an actual like wrestling steel cage. They just grabbed a piece of fencing outside. Big Cats. See, Rick Flair and Arn we know that that's Curtis Hughes, Friday, the 30th, 8 but I'm sure there were people at home like at the box thinking he's going to wrestle a tiger. Sears, a great night of they should have advertised Lex Luger versus a tiger. Chicago. Can he get the tiger up in the rack? That's my question. Did they switch towns? Wasn't the last one they did earlier in the show Roanoke, Virginia? That's right, Clint. Yes, the, the cage match does not happen. Nasty Boys jumped, and then Jim Ross had to go on the, the localized house show promos and be like, Nasty Boys ran out of town. They're scared chicken boys. Blah, blah, blah. He's back. All you had to do was ask. That would have been a great map for last Tuesday. Now you're playing with power. The temperature never drops below Xerox. That's important to remember at a time like this. When it's very dark and very cold. You know, when you did remember Xerox get off the plane that you flew in by yourself. Drops below Xerox. Don't put out the lights till you put on the night watch. Oxy night watch works Oxy all night, night to watch. unclog pores and help prevent pimples. So don't put out the lights till you put on the night watch. If you are among the 40 million Americans who've been denied credit, American National Bank of New York can get you your own secured Visa or MasterCard, even if you have past credit problems. Right, apparently that cage history. match did happen. I, th I got Almost it mixed up with the match the month, the month the after. Fast and easy. But it's Rick versus American Nobs. National approves the majority within days. The call's only $10 and there's no risk. If you're turned down, Isn't that the we'll gal from the uh, In Living call. Color? There's absolutely no risk. Good call now. The risk-free number is 1-900-726-VISA. Of course, the other advertised cage match doesn't happen. No, nothing advertised happened. 
No Rick. No, Simmons versus Rick. Why are we? That's not how washing Shoot things works. Color dog. Dirt goes, color stays. Turbo Graphics 16 is about to knock video games back into the Stone Age. So how did the system it's like 10, lose? Ten thousand years ago, you're a cave dude. You are carnivorous. It's so much more fun of than everything on the Genesis. Process. And you've only got one weapon. Bonk's adventure. Buy Turbo Graphics 16 now and get one and of 30 participate in the lethal lottery. Free. Apparently, promotional consideration paid for by the following: yeah. Man, dirty right. wrestling fans who play video games that have it's bad like credit. So real, it really talks. Yeah. Your battleship sunk. Ah, uh, oh, we're gonna fuck in the rain. Hero, cologne for men. If you get this cologne called Hero. Starting your engine's a terrible thing to do because it's startup oils in the pan, not in the engine. Startup lubrication yeah. that lasts over 50,000 miles. Slick 50, the engine wear protector. Or more, more motor oil you can get at the grocery store. Total Recall for Nintendo, based on a blockbuster movie. Va Big Van Vader vs. Moondog Rex was on that show. Never forget. That sounds like a wonderful train wreck. Next week, right here on Channel 9, it has been signed for the NWA World TV title. Next week, on Anderson defense against Terry Taylor. Oh, cool. Also with us in tag team action this time. Yeah, that Total Recall game Zero sucks. I've played here. it. It's awful. As well as J.W. Storm, now let's hear with the Black Scorpion. In Chicago Sting. They, they pitched the Black Scorpion like it's just a normal thing. He tried to kidnap a 15-year-old girl. Magic. The Clash. Yes, Juicer and the Big Juicer coming up next episode. Okay, another great week of NWA. And Bozo! Right here. What Join if Bozo was the Saturday Black morning. Scorpion? That's Saturday morning, 10 o'clock, with all the top stars of the NWA, and I couldn't get away from the studios here this week at WGN. My children said, Dad, stop by and see Cookie and Bozo. Gentlemen, it's so good to be with you. All of Tony Schiavone's 19 children. Well, thanks for visiting us today. Boy, I tell you, it's great to see you. And we want all those other children show hosts to know that Cookie and I are ready to tag team wrestle with them and each other. Right? like, all you other sure kid show hosts, we're going to beat there your and, uh, ass. The Ooh, they're tough. Yeah, I know. Hey, but you know what? We've got a little something for you. Well, great. It's been a long I day love here in Bozo Chicago. It's been a great day here in Chicago, Bozo. and I and I love something. You got what? You got a present for? Oh, we sure do, don't we, Cook? We sure, sure do. do. <laughs> here it is. I love presents. Oh, Tony. Poor Tony. Thanks, Cook. Well, Thanks, Bozo. <laughs> Thanks, Cook. <clears throat> okay, he knows man. Cookie we'll on that personal of a level. NWA Pro Wrestling. I love this job. Oh God, Cookie giving up Terry Herman vibes. All right. So that is the first episode we're watching tonight. We'll be watching uh, another one here in a second. But before we do, uh, no show Sunday. Here's what we'll be watching Tuesday next week. Or next Tuesday, easily said. 9 p.m. WW Deep Cuts Live. Fire, even, even. Nobody's going anywhere. Let's hear it. Come on. All right, so next week, 1992. Gary Michael Capetta getting a voice over the intro, too. Yay. Don't sound too enthused, Gary Michael Capetta. People might think you like the show. Yes, w Watts era WCW loved it was all about the tournaments that dude loved tournaments nwa pro is brought to you by game boy by nintendo your power to go your power to go oh hey it's our old friend jack brickhouse the world championship wrestling in our profession jack we always like to be recognized but we are standing at jack brickhouse way that's quite a recognition he has no idea where he is one of the great moments in my life i'd be a big liar if i didn't say so tony 
And if you'd like, I'll be glad to tell you the background on it. Okay, let's do that. As a matter of fact, Tony's we'll like, yeah, we have plenty of time. It's only an hour long show. Houseway. Right now, here's who's on the program this week with a star. He looks so scared. Like Jack Brickhouse is like, who are these people? Oh, God, he's got a baby. No. Doom Horseman. All right, let's see what weirdo comes out now. It's the Steiner Brothers. Oh, they're going to terrorize someone. Rock and Rob Morgan. Yeah, baby. Rob Morgan had suspenders. And uh, Ed, Ed Morgan, was that the other guy's name? Hello, thank you so much for the follow. Is it Cool IRS? That's a sweet username if it is. Thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate you bringing the flat soda and the crackers. <laughs> Brian, Brickhouse like Arn always looked older than he was. In this episode, he's only 38. Ed Brock, okay. Ed Brock and Rock and Rob Morgan. Oh gosh, it's frightening. Oh gosh. Rock and Rob Morgan and Rick Harder Rock would be too awesome. To what a piece of shit. Oh my goodness. That dude was not ready at all. That dude shrugged like in the middle of it, like, what the fuck are you doing to me? Hey, Orion. Yeah, he caught all that thing. Here we go. Rock and Rob. Speaking of guys that probably aren't allowed within 250 feet of school. Rob Morgan, it is tights. Uh, his tights are ripped. His tights are ripped in the ass. Oh gosh. What is wrong with Jerry Sachs? He was jumping before the promo began. Just remember, it's not an arena. It's not a ring. When you're fighting nasty boys, it's the streets, and it's nasty. It's the streets. We drive our cars in the ring. Oh. Or Rock and Rob. He won't be able to make his night shift as a rock as an easy listening DJ. What is it wrong with Jerry Sacks? Oh gosh, oh gosh. They're gonna do something gross here. Oh, it's the Doomsday DDT. Oh How is that a thing that was invented in nineteen ninety? Like Rick Steiner looks like he just wrapped himself in newspaper. Rick Steiner, I have. We were talking about it earlier. WCW Thunder Rosa, that Nasty Boys Steiner. dark match. What a mess. The Shaker Heights spike wasn't dangerous if you knew to flatten out. Again, that poor guy, his ass, the ass on his tights are ripped. And then slow-mo was there for all to see. Wow. 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 Yeah, we're excited to be here in Beaumont, Texas. Liars. It landed in a forbidding jungle. It came for the thrill of the hunt. Thrill of the hunt. Now, yes, at least he wasn't free balling. It looked like somebody maybe sewed it up, but with like white fabric. But it just made it look that much worse. Like how embarrassed, how awful would it be if not only were the Steiners beating the shit out of you, but then your balls came out during. 
Like, those sadists would probably step on them. Yeah, you can trash the other guy. You could end your friendship over Dr. Mario. Now that's just every mobile phone game. Living without credit cards hurts more oh, than here's this asshole power. again. Three ninety-five a minute. These phone Americans calls would cost eight hundred dollars. First National Bank has a money back, no risk, secured visa or master. Yeah, that that Dr. Mario kid got credit, the shit beat out of him at that hotel in Hollywood where all the kid actors stay. There's no risk. One call does it all. If not approved, we'll refund the cost of the call. The risk-free number is one nine hundred seven. I love how he had the logos for uh, Mastercard and Visa behind him on the green screen, like it made it more legitimate. Oh yeah, they weren't telling the truth at all about where they were. They just threw up whatever city the the Chiron guy could think of. I'll just start over and add two shakes of this and two shakes of this. Two shakes. What a weird dad. A bowl of all those put together can't top one bowl of total. One bowl of whole wheat total has 100% of 12 essential vitamins. And what? Another real shitty cereal. Total. I'll just add nothing. Kicks totally false. Tony Gillum. That is not Dave Thomas. Corn Flakes. Corn Flakes are good. Here we go. JW Storm. This guy is a real mess. It was one half of a shitty tag team that got a tryout at a Clash of the Champions against the Steiners. He barely got through the match, and he got signed. Pablo Crenshaw, long-time enhancement star. Andrew Lyskland. <laughs> Love it, goes to Bert Bur Furness. Yeah, he was another Portland guy. He would go on to uh, have a career in boxing where he would have a number of rigged fights. AW does stand for just Wolf. Oh my God, I would not trust that man to do that to me. Oh, I would imagine uh, a show in Beaumont, Texas with the Horseman versus the Rock and Roll hot crowd. Looks great. Oh! It's like he knows how to do moves, but he doesn't really know what a match is. Snap suplex. Great execution so far. Like, like somebody taught him moves in a wrestling school. And then was just like, okay, you're good to go. Back body drop. It's like remedial Jeff Gaylord. Imagine that class. Oh shit! Oh gosh! Like every move he does, it's like that subreddit. Like no, 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 yes. Like, it, oh, it looks like he's uh, g gonna kill the guy every time he touches him, but then at the last second he squeaks it out. Oh, yeah, he's totally just doing every movie knows. He was taught like 10 moves. Oh, shit. And he's just waiting for them to say, hey, wrap it up. Like his finish was just a clothesline. And maybe Pablo Crenshaw is just like the best enhancement guy and somehow made it to where he did not kill himself. No, he did not know how to do a clothesline. But that was his finisher. Also, imagine being Pablo Crenshaw, and you're in the back, and this guy, this guy is like, I'm going to hit you with a tilt-a-roll slam. Also, he is not a big enough monster dude to be doing the one hand. Oh, hey, it's Gary Michael Capetta, back to teach us algebra. You would think nothing could top Halloween Havoc, but we've got one that will do it. 
It's double K yeah. Friday, November the 30th. Could, the <laughs> Crenshaw couldn't have the Steiners in a handicap Steiner match instead. Hey, they would at least do in moves. Another, World Tag Team Champions do meet the Horsemen. And then in separate competition, two classics. The Junkyard Dog to meet the Iron Sheik. I'm First, glad they clarified the that the Junkyard Dog and the Iron yeah. Sheik were not yeah. in yeah. the cage matches. National World Wrestling Champion once upon a time. Big time amateur wrestler. Once so, upon a time. Now he's a mean, mean NASA visual right now. But I'm a big I, fan of JYD having the dog collar, but not wearing it. I never rode a camel before, but I know it's not going to be easy with you in that ring. So if the price is right, please, Iron Sheik, come on down tonight. Let's get down on it. Yeah, this is when Friday, they realized, oh, the shit, the Iron Sheik is still under contract. We have to have him do something. And then they brought him back, and he was even worse. Than he had been. And they just sent him home again. Is JW the worst wrestling storm? There, there are a lot of wrestling storms. It has to be a worse one. You know, nasty boys, they say on TV, this is your brain. This is your brain on drugs. This is your brain in a cage. This is your brain on drugs. Chicago, I'm a big you fan like of when wrestlers Friday, would promote November cage 30. matches by it's rubbing vegetables on the cage. Imagine having to clean that mess the up. Face, the New York Nasty Boy. The well, New York Nasty Boys? Was, was that going to be their name? Chicago, the New York Nasty Boys? That's, that's a mouthful. This is coleslaw. Hell yeah, Orion. JW Storm is one of those power team guys. Fantastic. This is your brain trying to figure out the cost for a car repair. Hey, Rick, what's the hidden cost of a car? 8500 Doom. Friday the 30th, 8 o'clock, UIC Pavilion. Tickets at the box office and all Tickatron. I just like the name UIC Pavilion. Great night of action, World Championship Wrestling in Chicago. Again, WWF had their magazine everywhere. WCW, you had to call a special phone number and send the check in the mail to get it. Get theirs. The king has arrived. Oh, hell yeah. Guess who the queen is? A story the way only friends could tell it. Hell yeah. How do you want to die? This is the era we just music. gave musicians, Graffiti like, bridge. millions of dollars to make day. movies. Jerome Benton and the time. <laughs> this is your brain trying to balance the books that you're showing this franchise. Hey, he didn't do a very good job. It's closed now. Now playing at a theater near you. The graffiti bridge, not a good one. Never drops below zero. Just sad. That's important to remember at a time like this. When it's very like, what would even be the equivalent of that? Cold. Like, uh, Billie Eilish's oversized dress shirt party? I would love a non-denominational power team. Power teams should be an Olympic sport, in my opinion. Like, it is so cool. They break shit, and then they set shit on fire and break that. And then they stack shit really high and break that. Yeah, venues, I, I hate this era where... All these, every every, every venue has like a days, corporate the sponsored name. And no like the only good one is the KFC down, Yum Center. The cost of this call. All the others there's suck. Absolutely no risk. Call now. The risk-free number is one nine hundred seven two six. The first ever three part pro wrestling Hall of Fame oh, hey. series is now available through this amazing TV offer. Buy one or all three. Oh, I remember this commercial from the last time you watched this. This is a great commercial. And receive the hilarious blooper tape of the 70s. Hilarious blooper tape. There's no fucking way in this era that they're putting out promo bloopers. Your stone forever. It's all original. Bloody matches. Exciting profile. Bloody matches. Yeah, this is like old a number AWA number footage. One, pretty much. Number two, cage madness. Like, number like three, AWA footage in San Francisco. I believe this is the guy that would end up doing those Smoky Mountain and OVW DVDs. Where Cornette and Meltzer did the commentary together. 
Order now. 1-800-424-4400. 1-800-424-4400. Write the number down. 1-800-424-4400. Write the now. number down. Don't call it. Just you write it down. Chicago, you got no heroes left, man. I mean, Walter Payton retired. Jim McMahon said... The collar on that jacket. And the fridge all gives yes, wrestling gold. Yes, that's what I'm now. thinking of. I'm going to bring to you today on the Danger Zone a real-life hero. Double A Arn Anderson, the best wrestler... Wait, did he just forget that he recruited a giant, ugly champion. schlub last week? Himself. Not that he needs to. Last week against Allen Iron Eagle. Check it out. Yeah, let's replay the very average match he had last week. Oh, we're replaying the one cool part. Different commentary? That, that must be the national feed. The world TV title against Terry Taylor, and you know, your critics. I'm not one of them, though. But your critics say that with the feud with Doom and defending the TV title every week, you might be spreading yourself just a little bit too thin. Well, Paul, you're a real intelligent guy. I got a lot of respect for you. One thing I got to know right here. I got to know deep down in my breasts. On that television, as I am the very best. In light of what's going on with Doom, maybe some of my thoughts have went in that direction. Remember one thing, Terry Taylor, you're a great athlete. You're a great wrestler, and right now you're I feel like Arn lost a bunch no of hair on his head. There's winners. In the seven days between when these winner, aired. I'm the world television like, I feel like he had way more hair on his head you last you're week. You're a great man, Double A, and I want to thank you for coming out here and showing me the respect that I hope you think I deserve. But, you know, Lex Luger, he's the type that doesn't show anybody respect, but the Motor City Madman, they're the guy that deserves it. They're having to have Arn Anderson cut promos hey, Motor for City Motor City Madman? Why is, on, why is Paul I wearing Luke sweats? No your tough problem is, boy. You got a big mouth. This call is you called Paul Floyd. You can earn your money. That's like Luger in there. Show Floyd me. Floyd E. Dangerously. Go show me. Guys, come on. Show me what you can do to Luger. Show me like Luger. Show me all about like Luger. Come on. I want somebody to do it. I can put you in the next one. Come on. That would have been beautiful, Ryan. Oh, my. This, yeah, this guy's terrible. It was so bad they couldn't put him in matches to promote the clash, but they still had him work with like nine guys at the same time here. And none of this looks good, even edited. Yeah, this is a guy Paul like tried to make a star out of in like before the NWA run. He didn't always have the eye for talent that he would go to uh, go on to have. Luger. Luger. I'm ready for you. Yeah, this man is allegedly not an alcoholic, according to WCW lore. Specifically not an alcoholic. It gets even better right now because my Why is the camera so high? Oh, it's because they're gonna bring on the tall guy. But we do believe it or not, have one thing in oh, that isn't slow-mo, he's just that like slow. Jets. My guest is the next breaker from Borger, Texas. Stan the Larry and Oh no, he did they didn't bring in uh one thing right. Motor City Men. They brought in Stan Hansen. No and he still has too much headroom. I hate Lex Luger. Now let me tell you something, Polly dangerously. I know that I've been out of sight. And I've been away and you've been they doing just some talking. Them and Stan you've been Hansen. telling them how Stan Hansen's going to beat Lex Luger up next time I get in the ring with him. Well, I'm going to do week that. before Undertaker debuts. And not only now does Lex Luger... You got one thing, all right, I'm totally nude. You got this big guy that you drug out of some pool hall in here. Boner City Madman or all... You just call him the Boner City Madman? Well, we do have something in common. He's big. He's nasty. And he'll do anything. You know, I've been in the You know, your big nasty guy, the Boner City Madman. And I know how to swing a few stick when you ain't looking. Well, you come on. Does that make Detroit the Boner City? You got to deal with. And never mind you, Polly. I hope that he likes you, but I don't. But Lex Luger, look at this. They should have just put Paul with Hanson. to get through this first. Hanson left the same time that Motor City Madman did. We're 
World Championship Wrestling presents Starcade 90. Arcade 90. With, it, was it 16 matches? The Boner City Machine Guns. That's what I call it. Stan Hansen says you're the Boner City Madman. You go to City Hall and you change your name. Yes. Spectacular Sunday, December 16th. Yeah, Ryan, the Boner Three City Magnet. That's all he hulks up. He just throws it down blue chip. There we go. Terry Taylor in his pretty robe. Vera Beach. Vero Beach. Vero Beach. Depends on who's announcing. What an asshole. 14 matches on Starcade 90. And they got all that shit done in three hours. Oh, they changed the music. Boo! Fuck you. But hey, it's the it's the baby blue tight variations. Yeah, no, I don't like them changing the music on us. This horseman song sucked. I don't know. The Boner City Madman seems pretty confident. I love that banner in the background. Aren't he just three years since the previous week? Yes! I, he seriously looked like he lost a bunch of hair. Like he had enough hair to comb over on the last episode. Tony Gillum, Tony Killam Gillum. Yeah, Arn had different music on the last episode. He had the OG Arn Anderson WCW music. And then here he had the shitty uh, original Horseman music. Like the, the Jim Hurd Horseman music. Those baby blues on Arn. I, I both hate and like them. Like, they don't match anything he's wearing. Not the Spartacus music. No, this is... Uh, don't, 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 don't. Like, it's another butt rock song. But, like, the horsemen would use it. Like... Barry used it, Sid used it for a bit. Like when they all come out for like six minutes, they would use it. Even though they had their own their own separate music. I like Terry pushing away Arn from the injured arm. It's a little thing, but it's like, hey, my arm hurts. Stop grabbing it. Rattles them, baby. Not like Tommy Rich did earlier. Also, the camera guy at ringside is laughing at the match. Real good punches in this match. And they're working at a fast pace because they got a 10 minute time limit. This is real good stuff, folks. Real good wrestling. Arn, yeah, I think it's his hair drying. He's one of the few guys who sort of like when he, his hair dries, it gets thicker. Or at least it looks thicker. He's still got a giant ass bald spot on the back. Legendary family, the Anderson family. In world championship wrestling, they have been ah. champions all their lives. And Arn is continuing that great tradition. I love Arn, but how does that add leverage? Ah. 
Joshi Bridge. Taylor in a lot of pain, but Arn Anderson stays right on it. And our referee Randy Anderson right up. I love that this match is so good that we're all just kind of watching. Behind Taylor in the form of a hammerlock. Taylor coming up using the power for the leg. Ooh. There we go, Arn. Beautiful. Love that that jawbreaker cell. Arn's the best. Again, they put the WW Hotline banner in the back and didn't put a light on it. So you can't see it. Oh shit, they're, they hit the floor. WWE Raw commercial break. Harry should have done a dive. I played Michael Jackson. I played Shinobi. Oh shit, it's Malibu from uh, American Gladiators. Didn't even notice it. Raw rolls on. Genesis system by Sega. Genesis does it all. I used does to it do? It just does. So exactly all right. Shoulders. Then I tried Selsun Blue. Blue is better. Selsen I wouldn't Blue use Selsun Blue just because I don't like this shoulders. asshole. And doctors recommended that seems too cocky for me. Integrin. Blue is better. Selsun Blue. If you want to go places in any career, ask yourself, can I perform under pressure? Can I be counted on to get the job done? You can learn how in the army. So when you're ready to take off, you'll know you can go. And the last one was like, hey, be a cool Discover hero. This one, be kidnapped. Or visa in as little as five days. Even if you've been turned down before. Genesis does reason, what TurboGrafx don't. We'll you $100 cash. With Capital Savings Credit Restoration Program, we'll show you how to restore your credit guaranteed. Uh, we'll they, pay you advertisers thought so, so little of us. A new home, a new car, new furniture, electronics, and more. Call now and restore your credit or get a secured Visa or MasterCard in as little as five days. It in as little as you. five days. Call now, 1-900-568-9800. $6 per call. Hello, Prologue. This is Trish. May I help you find a doctor? Yes, nobody else what you're hearing <laughs> I love the person in the other room. Oh, I thought this was a, a game line. I wanted to answer 80s music trivia. Can you tell me what he's like? Of course I can. 1,300 pieces of information on each doctor. Their schools, their bedside manner, whether they accept Come on, there's. Dial you don't health. call this number and they give you a biography on the doctor. The, the ads are a lot better than the doctor. Like actual major international companies promote on wrestling. I want to do these creeps my way. Like, yeah, sometimes you'll get an ad for like a vagina razor. For the most part, it's like the return of real major Rock. brands. Well, I was hoping for a warmer reception. Rated R. Now showing at a theater near you. Jerry Taylor and Arn Anderson have given us quite a match here. Now back in the ring as they fought only momentarily. That might be your algorithm at home, WCB Thunder. I was like, I don't get that many dick pill ads. Never say die. Then again, I just switched to Triller, the AEW Plus with the VPN, to get rid of the ads. Going back to that gosh darn arm, he's an Anderson. When Taylor picks the pace up on the crisscross or on the ride to the ropes or whatever, Arn will go right back to an arm bar, work on an arm, and try to slow the pace down. Now both men are in great the price on that? It's, I think it's seven ninety nine a month. Arn likes to slow it down, maybe a little bit more. Like either this seven or nine ninety nine. It's definitely worth it for AEW Plus on Triller. It's uh, video quality is way sharper. The audio quality is like actually listenable uh and again the the not going to commercial breaks is so worth it and works it to a neck breaker to perfection three minutes remaining in the match three minutes left in the match 
So we're down to three minutes to go in this TV time limit. I have no idea, WCW Thunderers. I just know that I wasn't getting boner pill ads and sling. And Anderson goes right to the midsection. Yes, the cheaper pay-per-views, yes. Like they're like 20 bucks on Triller if you have AEW Plus and there's a VPN. Or if you live in Australia, like some of you do. Just showing you the great reserve of Arn Anderson. He took quite a blow to the chin, but was able to come right out of it. Right on the arm. Right on the arm. We have a two count. Yeah, I love when the ring announcer does the time calls. I just wish if you're going to do it, you got to do it for every match. Like, you can't just do it for the match with the time, like the time limit draw. You can't do that. You got to do it for every match. What is my Arn Anderson time machine dream match? Hmm. The guy from today with Arn. Um. Like the easy, yeah. I'm not gonna say the easy. Dak. I, I think most people would say Dax Harwood. I. They're too similar. Um. Huh. That's a that's a hard one. Um. Going right to the shoulder. I and mean, it also seems like a cop-out answer. I think him and Brian would have a really good match. No-brainer. Uh, I don't know if Kevin Owens... I, I mean, maybe Kevin Owens and Arn. I just I feel like their styles would maybe not match. Arn and Cody would be good. You know, actually, you know what? Heel Arn against Orange Cassidy. I think those two would have incredible chemistry. Was that, was that it? I swear Rainy Anderson just counted three. There we go. Arn Anderson was, or Orange was kind of doing the TV champion thing with the, uh, the international title. It wasn't quite the same. Arn versus Pac would actually be really fun. I think I think those two would have a really fun match. That is it. You heard the count. There we go. We've gone the time limit and a draw. Arn and Sami Zayn, that would be great. You are Arn against Sami Zayn, yes. Arn and Claudio, a lot of really good Arn matches. Anderson retains the belt on a time limit draw, but Terry Taylor. Gave it everything, and Anderson couldn't pin it. 69 and on. Awesome. Congratulations on getting getting in the ring, starting to train. That's awesome. You know, it's a thrill for me not only to be standing here at Jack Brickhouse Way, but to be able to stand here. It's a thrill for me to be freezing outside in, in Chicago in November. Wrestling and fans, we're going to be back a little bit later on to talk to Jack about naming this street. Jack Brickhouse way but right now we're going to take you back to October what else would Jack Brickhouse have named right here at the UIC Pavilion in Chicago Rick Flair and Arn Anderson going after world tag team champions doom we're going to take a look at that footage just to show you how rough and rugged that match was rough and rugged we don't have enough rugged rugged, rugged people in wrestling hangman's rugged Echicero, I just saw him listed for a New Japan show uh, coming up in December. I think it's him and Leo Rush, maybe? Jack Brickhouse had a Davenport and a Wrigleyville brothel named in his honor. Yes. Horsemen are kind of baby faces here. Like, Sid's a heel, but people love him. Barry's definitely a heel. Arn and Rick are, they're feuding with other heels, but they're also working against baby faces on TV. Weird. 
We do understand at this moment negotiations are going on for a return match between those two teams. And one thing you can be sure of is going to be another negotiations very rough and rugged affair between these two great matches. tag teams. These days you just come out, hey, I'm fighting so and so next week. We'll to and Tony Khan makes it happen. Right here at Jack Brickhouse Way. Uh, uh, this is after the sting retreat. Yes. Right now, let's go to the ring. Let's go to the ring before that guy in the background mugs you. World Championship Wrestling and Action. Oh, hey, Indianapolis. Thursday, November 29th, the Convention Center. Center. That place is kind of a dump. Why didn't they run the Wednesday, Pepsi Center? Exar Bin Coliseum. You know, all these places that people in Chicago could go to? I mean, Indianapolis, you could. It's only two hours. Please write merchandise director. Guy didn't want his name out there. The time to act is now. AEW's running a lot of really a lot of like B markets. I mean, it's a smart move. They're they're put a couple thousand people in some of those small buildings and look better. The wrestling wrap-up is not available in stores, so subscribe now by calling 404-827-4048 to charge by Visa or MasterCard, or send your check or money order to the wrestling wrap-up. Oh shit, Lex Luger's gonna be like, hey, I love my Halloween wear. Here's how to order. Fans, to order your Halloween Havoc t-shirt, send a check or money order for $15 plus $4 for shipping and handling, payable to WCW and mail to WCW Post Office Box 105716, Atlanta, Georgia, 30348, Please specify small, medium, large, That's another good point, yeah. Because so, WWE's not doing house shows anymore, other than a couple weeks a year. Finally, a 900 so yeah, that, that, that does clear them out for AEW. That's a good point, guys. TV game and played one of their music games. I won a great prize by simply identifying everybody just called and masturbated to that thing, right? You can choose from other categories too, like sports, rock, and general. I think I'll try TV. I would love to know the questions they ask. TV game. first minute, 99 each additional. Kids ask your parents. You could get movie theater passes. Also, shout out to my SSRI game, but um. Take my meds for the night. My med, singular. Attack. So I was in a wedding a few years ago. My friend Isaac, uh, our friend Erica, they got married. And I think it was his mom handed me the wedding cake. And I wasn't thinking, and I just kind of held it in front of me. I ended up smearing the cake all over the front of my uh, tux. Two men. Is that real, Mitch? AEW secured the rights to November Rain? Hell yeah. Too wild. Tony Khan is such a nerd and I love him. That's awesome. Hell yeah, Tony. I love how Tony was... Tony seemed very upset that he see that, he, that uh, NXT did the ECW nostalgia thing and just went nuts. Like the November to remember this month. Hey, Macy Grayman, glad to have you. As we see, I, I believe a convicted pedophile hit the ring with with a lot of children and a baby, a shirtless baby. I appreciate that. Thank you, Macy. I appreciate you saying that a lot. I'm glad to have you here and appreciating me. I appreciate you, George South, who. Looks like a naked magician. I had a chance to visit George's house in Tempe, Arizona, and I want to tell you. Why are you taking the shirts off the kids? The athlete from Tempe. Uh, he got convicted the year before this. Like it hit the news while he was with WCW. That's fantastic, Stephen J. I'm so excited for that video. What are we, even if he was not an actual convicted sex predator, why are we having grown men strip children in the ring? <laughs> what do you think of that? Here we go on the right. South. Down he goes. 
And here's the thing. WCW Oh my god, I thought he was going to do a Poison Rana. How is that not a disqualification? Um, He got a tryout in the WWF. Like, about a year and a half after this. Yeah, our bar's weird in that, yeah, he would, he's a really good wrestler, but yeah, he had weird little quirks like that. Like, he couldn't run the ropes. No, the thing is, they did know. Everybody who hired Art Bar after he got arrested knew that he got in trouble for raping a teenage girl. And they were just like, whatever. And WCW was like, what if he was the, the kid guy? Like it wasn't a rip. Like it, he he started the gimmick in Portland, but like WCW didn't have to have him keep doing it. Watch out! <laughs> like he had been doing this gimmick before he got arrested. I'm almost positive she was like 16. Okay, she was 19. Okay, I'm sorry. He's not a pedophile. Still a rapist. I apologize for... Uh, for saying that Art Bar was a pedophile. But he's still a rapist. Convicted. Convicted rapist. But no, like... It got around enough in the national news that, like... There were reports from live shows that the crowds were chanting rapist at him. Yeah, Art Bar gets gets the praise because he's so connected to Eddie. <laughs> okay, but have you seen his frog splash? <laughs> Is Halloween wear. Yeah, he's not like in the grand scale of Eddie, he's not significant, but Eddie loved him so much. Like Dominic dressed as him at WrestleMania a few years ago. Like they did the Los Gringos Locos tribute, and he was Art Bar. Art, uh, Art Bar, convicted rapist. I remember uh, Jamie Dundee, his ridiculous high spot shoot interview. His defense was that uh, Art Bar at the time was doing a Ninja Turtle gimmick, and according to Jamie, you could not get a boner wearing the Ninja Turtles costume. Therefore, he could not have raped that girl. That was Jamie Dundee's excuse, his conspiracy theory, why he thought Art Bar did not commit rape. And I've got big news for you, big brother. I'm drinking milk. And in the next few years, it's going to Wait, is she trying to convince her brother she's going to be like a hot piece of ass? Oh, wait, it was Chris Champion. I'm fucking everything up. I'm confusing all the timelines. And when I do, if you're still the same little creep in a big body, I won't even acknowledge you're my brother. Milk, it does a body. Yeah, good. airing this after the Art Bar match. Hey, listen, if you want to be styling in the latest in Halloween wear, here's how to work. Fans go order your God, that to Lexus King DMing fans. Like, Teddy Hart wasn't beating her up. He was teaching her how to be tough, take a hit. So Teddy is now taking bookings as Batman? The talking. 
is done. The time to act is now. Bring the action of World Championship Wrestling right to your door by subscribing to the Wrestling Wrap-Up. Act now and get a year's subscription to wrestling's most informative news. Um, I think the documentary kind of determined he didn't kill her? But he was involved in all sorts of other weird shit. To charge by Visa or MasterCard or send your check or money order to the Wrestling Wrap-Up. There we go. Here's, here's an unproblematic fave, Jim Cornette. It was tied to Chase and Rance and his crew of weirdos. Chase and Rance, convicted pedophile. Actual convicted pedophile. No confusion. Look at those jackets. <laughs> hitting problematic wrestling bingo. We don't get any Armstrongs this week. <laughs> we just... <laughs> we the, 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 the transphobes, uh, the rapists, the racists, Jimmy Stuka had two matches in WCW. He wrestled at a slamboree in like a six-man, and then he had a match on a Nitro, in 2000 where him I'm not kidding you the finish of the match was him and Chris Benoit both jumped off of a cage at the same time I saw that the Marty Skrull bullshit in Canada yeah I'm just happy that like wrestlers quit that company even if it was even if it was just a couple God, that was ridiculous. That that the WCW Pro block we watched, where it was back to back: Kinsuke Sasaki, Rock and Rebel, and Chris Benoit. I'm not surprised the promotion isn't said a single thing, because everybody who books Marty Scroll is a fucking coward. They hide him. They know it's wrong, but they still do it. You can run, but you can't hide, baby. We're coming for you. What a trio of. Like, they look like a nice lesbian couple in their giant son. The thing about beautiful Bobby as he comes back into the ring is that he... I always love Bobby wearing these tights, like with the trunks over him, because he never quite lined up the stripe correctly. Right to the arm. A tag and JJ Stryper. Now we're talking about big guys coming in against beautiful Bobby. Here's one right now. And Bobby going but was it right Destiny Wrestling that booked uh, and as we said, we'll be old Birdman? Okay, yes, Destiny. And of all of our great fans in Omaha, Nebraska, we'll be Why are the Midnights beating the shit out of the Italian Stallion's grandpa? This is so mean. We'll be also in Sioux City, Iowa, the Sioux City, Sioux Iowa, City. Thursday, December 6th. Like Sioux City, Iowa is such a shitty name for a town because nobody can say it properly. Sioux City. Yeah, Vader's was never lined up right either. Brett was really good at it, I remember. Brett was good at lining up the strike. Yeah, the scroll story has been around for like over a decade. I'm pretty sure it happened around the time of British boot camp. Hey, Tom McCartney, that name is Suffering Succotash. Stan Lane, the only man trained by Ric Flair. Also, Grandpa Italian Stallion is very tall. Very big man. He resembles that giant dude from uh, uh, Happy Gilmore. Beautiful Bobby in his element right now. Well, I was, yeah, Bobby's like, yeah, I can't hit him if he's behind you. Referee looking the other way. Oh, and he kills him. Bobby commits worked murder. 
<laughs> Bobby's like, shit, I did kill him. It's like, fuck. I didn't mean to actually murder this guy. Macy, thank you so much for the sub. Tip of the cap to you. Appreciate it. I'm gonna put that in my syringe. Stick in my butt cheek. Grow big old muscles. I love that this is the part they replay, not the cool move. The funny bit. Why was it? Why was Bobby going in his tights? That's weird. From the headquarters of World Championship Wrestling. Look in the headquarters. With more Come on. information on that gigantic card Come coming on. to the UIC Pavilion in Chicago on Friday, November 30th. Not one, but two giant Not CLK one, matches dot, are dot, dot, but you two. You can, you can you can see him thinking meeting, about how to process the, other, the, the teleprompter. The nasty boy. <laughs> <laughs> from the world, tag I just killed these, this Ryan guy. Simmons, Wonder if he's circumcised. Of doom. Everybody in every arena across this country has seen the horseman's Rick Brown on Anderson running from the world tag team champions with Reed and Ron Simmons. Right Ron now, Simmons looks like he's posing for a picture at a convention with a fan. We got horseman, we've got a cage. And when that door locks, I'll be standing right outside to make sure nobody gets in and interferes and to make sure... When and Butch looks like he's on, he thinks this is a still picture. Man, the ambulance man or whoever it takes will... The, the ambulance man. With all that's gone down between... The exactly, goes to Burt Burnus. They lost because they didn't the uh, scrub any veggies the on the cage. With the champs. But I don't think so. The lights go up. The cage comes down. That's amazing, player, Brian. The two best wrestlers in the world that have paid I love that. Plus, I love that you got a picture of a strike force. Have you have I'm, you glad they, I'm glad they have got you over their shit in time to reunite for that picture now. with you. But when you're in the cage with us, you'll pay the price and you'll belong to us. Oh, Every Lord. time Ric Flair Woo! cuts a promo Remember, for a cage match, cage it match genuinely sounds... Civilian. Like he's having to stop himself from saying, we're all going to blade, going to take the gigs out of our trunks or out of our cheeks and cut ourselves. Hell yeah, Mitch. Yeah, Lorenzo, uh, I think the match you might have watched was against Tim Cheeks. The match is terrible. Sorry you had to watch it. Rick and Scott Steiner I love that the Nasty Boys got the team boys. building, but Rick and St Luger Scott Steiner Big didn't. Cat. And the second cage match, Rick Flair and Arn Anderson against Doom. Doom. Friday, the 30th, 8 UIC Pavilion. I give Tickets Doom a boom. Outlets, yeah, Vader and Roondog and Moondog Rex. Hey, Sky Blue Darts. Going great. Big in the butt cheeks. Dave Heath was on that show? Wow. Don't put out the light. A more Stridex or Oxycontin. Not Oxycontin. Oxyclean. Oxycontin was in the locker room. So don't put out the lights till you put on the night watch. The temperature never drops below Xerox. That's important to remember at a time like this. Yeah, but the it's very dark. WCB Chiron guys had a lot of issues with Ric Flair's name. Oh, there was a raid? Not really, there was a raid. I'm sorry, I'm using uh, Streamio. Mario, Mario. It's where people get oxycuted in the locker room. All right, LJ, each have a good one. We'll see you next All week. You had to do was ask Super Mario Brothers Three from Nintendo. That's a great game. Now you're playing with power. Is your sign and some papers? It's a house. Uh-huh. Why are we doing this again? Well, okay. Yeah, that commercial had to have been, like, expensive. Are, and the baby can bunk with us. Well, thank you so much for the raid, Sky Blue Darts. Appreciate it. Yeah, I'm, I, I stream with uh, Restreamio, so I don't get the alerts. Unfortunately. You okay now? Thank you, Sky Blue Darts. I appreciate it. I would say Mario 3 
second to Super Mario World, but it's close. I could definitely see an argument for Mario 3 being the best one. Mario 64 is a good one. Mario Super Mario World I give it to just because that's the only one I've killed. With color guard. Dirt goes, color Thank you so much for the cheers. Bravo. Smell as sweet. Roses that cost eight dollars a dozen smell as sweet as roses that cost fifty dollars a dozen. And roses that cost eight dollars and fifty dollars both come around. Super Mario Bro uh, Super Mario so 2 myself, sucked. Is it nobler to spend that's a shitty one. And I don't like Super Mario uh, World 2. The flower bucket. One it's just, it's too different. Eight dollars every day. Or convenient locations. Drop in the bucket. The flower bucket. The National Black no, NBA two, is on the move. Two, I, I hate two. They, they tried to mess with the formula too much. And financial aid for graduate education. In fact, the National Black MBA Association gave over one hundred thousand dollars in scholarships last year. I haven't gotten into the Paper Mario games as much. All right, Stephen J. Neptune Man over in the WWF. They were gearing up for Survivor Series '90 as the Ultimate Warriors defending the WWF title against the Macho King on the house show circuit. That's what's going on elsewhere in wrestling. As WCW is putting a convicted rapist on television with a bunch of children. This incredible vehicle can take you as far as your ability and imagination will allow. Promotional consideration paid for by the following. It's wild. They kept the Start same promotional consideration screen for like a decade. Yeah, the, the Survivor Series finale match. I wish they'd. Br I wish they would have done that more than once. It's, it's a neat concept. <laughs> and a convicted vapist, rapist with uh, obscene danger. I said convicted vapist. I have played WWF WrestleMania the Arcade. It's alright. I don't like that instead of upping the, di the, the difficulty, they just add bonus opponents. I, just, I think that's cheap. Yeah, I mean, they have the roster to do Oh, I'm sparing you the Motor City Madman. Teddy Long's going to check out Ric Flair's car. Oh, the rematch. All right, Yankee Hawk. See you later. See you next week. Thank you so much. Now, right behind us, the Tribune Tower. Of course, right out here is Jack Brickhouse Lane. Tell us the story behind this, Jack. Well, well, um, I came to named after me. He so seems so confused. That this is my 50th year in Chicago, and my wife, who has her own PR business and publicity business, has a PR mind. And suddenly, without my knowing it, she proposed. Without my knowing it, my wife's like, "Hey, give the I street suppose, to my husband." Maybe they do something to commemorate my 50 <laughs> years in broadcast. Uh, are you in my, the city of Chicago. Are you my grandson, Tony? You know, she brings me down Where am I? One day. I didn't know why she was bringing me here. All of a sudden, we've got nine million. You know, uh, movers and shakers from right. Chicago. And Nine million mayor, movers and shakers. And people like that. And they now don't use that phrase Jack enough. Brickhouse Way, uh, this particular area on Michigan Avenue, which of course is where it all began with all right. me. Okay. I can only yeah. imagine yeah. how many we'll drunk people week, hit right that pole. More of the sights of Chicago with the stars of World Championship. They gave we'll that man 30 back. seconds to talk about his row, his, his way. All right, so that that'll do. I turned down the wrong volume button. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me the last two hours for WSW Deep Cuts Live. I appreciate you all a bunch for giving me your time, for giving me your fellowship. Y'all are great. It's been a great time, great week. It's been an all right week, but it's been a great time being with you all. All right, so I will see you all next Tuesday at nine here right here but as i always like to say to end these uh even if you don't make it here i mean i would love for you to make it here but even if you don't make it here just make it the next tuesday i'm gonna try my hardest life sucks a lot of the days are rough but i think we can get through it i think i think we got a shot all right this has been w7 deep cuts live that's my name that's my handle again add me on blue sky don't add me on twitter all right have a good night and go to bed.